thanks a lot for coming by today. I am making something that I've been wanting to make for a long time, and that is some freezer meals. I do a lot of soups and chilies and that sort of thing, and, and they go into the freezer, and they're such a gift when I don't want to cook. But I've thought about maybe more main dish type of things. So I went and bought myself a nice, uh, it's um, non-stick, and it's the Texas size, not the little muffin size, but the Texas size. And I'm going to start making things in this and freezing them. Today, I am going to do meatloafs. Now, this is the meatloaf recipe that I have done before, and I will leave a link up there so you can get that recipe. It's almost identical except for just a couple of little changes, but I think they're going to be good changes. So why don't you come on down and I'll show you the ingredients. I have uh, some onion and some eggs. And then here, instead of all straight beef, I've got half beef and half turkey. Then I have some milk, some uh, breadcrumbs. And these are panko instead of my Italian because I didn't have any Italian. And there's some Parmesan cheese, some ketchup, garlic, Worcestershire, and some, there's my oven going off, and salt and pepper. So it's, uh, it really is the same recipe as I had used before, my mom's best meatloaf. So I am going to start getting this together and we're going to make meatloaf and I'm going to make little meatloaf muffins. So we'll be back. Come on down and we'll get started. You ready to try? Oh yeah. I'm always ready to eat. Mm. It'll be interesting because I don't usually put turkey in my meatloaf. Bon appetit. What do you say? Mm. Good. Good. Delicious. How do you like it in comparison to the full beef? You like a little mm. bit of turkey in there? Oh, this is great. Oh, okay, good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm. That is I love good. it. You take dainty little bites and I eat half the Well, you know what's good about this? I don't know what it is. Mm. That turkey and beef. Turkey makes it um, just very interesting. It really breaks up the beef, you know. Okay. Adds moisture. Mm-hmm. I love it. All right. That's excellent. I love my little cakes, my little muffin tins. And we're going to be able to put these in the freezer, and I'm going to do a mac and cheese one, Ooh. and some egg <laughs> ones for <laughs> breakfast, you know, oh, yeah, omelet things. Yeah. So we'll be able to pack those up. Because some nights, quite honestly, I have a really bad back, and it, it would be so nice just to throw a salad and one of these together. He's going to eat more together and have dinner. <laughs> All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Tell your friends. I hope you subscribe. I'll leave the instructions and the ingredients down in the uh, description box. However, it's the same recipe as my famous mom's uh, meatloaf, except for the change in the half meatloaf, uh, half her turkey, mom, half beef. Her mom wasn't famous, but the meatloaf was. It was. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. Take care now. Bye-bye.